So welcome everybody to Microbit Live. I'm Kevin. And today we are going to hack a microbit. But before we do, I want to start off with a statement. It's a pretty bold statement. And I want everyone to think about this just for a minute. There is nothing more important for our future as a species than to provide robust universal STEM education. Let me say it again. There is nothing more important for our future as a species than to provide robust universal STEM education. And it starts with the micro bit. So what does that mean? Why is that so important? I mean, surely we have much larger and bigger challenges before us. So in the last several years, ransomware and malware have hit our hospitals, they've hit our homes, our schools. So our time is now to strike back and provide our teachers, our educators, our real life superheroes, the resources necessary to combat and destroy this plague and give new makers a hope for a much better tomorrow. Currently, there are a number of powerful scratch and make code curriculums that we've seen here during Microbit Live to inspire our new makers at the earliest ages possible, to create, to dream, to live electrical engineering in a way that will change their lives forever and prepare them for an amazing set of careers in years to come. Our next step involves providing a robust MicroPython curriculum with real world projects, such as our popular Python for Kids course, which will provide a link at the end of the presentation. And finally, we need to provide a curriculum that will allow makers to see inside the microcontroller at the CPU level. We'll develop a complete reverse engineering STEM course that will be a series of reversing challenges involving a number of codal C++ binaries that they'll hack one by one, learning intimately how the CPU works and how to ultimately reverse engineer it. Today, we are gonna begin this journey together, you and I right here and right now. What you are about to see may be a little confusing as there are a number of new concepts that you may see. However, there's a step-by-step -step tutorial prepared to which we will provide a link at the end of the presentation if you want to try this at home. In this example, we will hack a very simple hello world codal C++ binary. These techniques used today that you're going to see are the same techniques and steps that a professional reverse engineer uses in their job. Let's dive in. So let me get my micro bit here. And as you can see, let me zoom in. We see hello world and notice the speed of it. Hello world. And I am going to share my screen. Let's see here how I do this. Hold on. Let me try this again, bear with me. Share screen. Share, and there we are. So this is Ghidra. This is a reverse engineering tool. Looks a little scary. I've loaded up our binary, our little hello world binary, and we're going to start from scratch and take a look what's really going on under the hood. So the first thing you want to do when you see a binary like this as a reverse engineer, you want to search for the entry point. And what we do in this case is we type main, and here we can see main here. So let's double click this. Now, we have two windows that we want to pay attention to. This is the decompilation window. This means this is what it thinks the original source code is, and, or very close to it. We also have the assembler view, which actually shows the exact instructions that are going into the CPU. And again, this could be a little overwhelming, but we'll take it step by step. So we start here and we see, hello world. Well, that looks familiar because we saw that scroll across our micro bit. And we also see this scroll, which makes sense. And also this 
number here in hexadecimal, that's going to be the delay that we spoke about. We saw it going pretty fast, but it was readable. So we're going to hack the delay and we're going to change this. So in real time, I'm going to click this or click on the hello world. And we're going to come over here. And this is what we refer to as an ASCII value right here that actually makes up the hello world. So 48 is H, 45 is E, 4C, 4C, LL, you get the idea. So over here, I am going to click on this little icon here and we're going to type 48. And as you see, that remains there. And we're going to do 41. We see it change to A. And I think it's 43 C and is it 47? No, let's go back 49, uh, 51 maybe. Nope, let's see here. Uh, Fifty-six. 52, we're gonna get there, bear with me. HAC and we'll do 40. HAC, I see 48, try 49, let's try 50. Try 51. Let's try 40. Actually, 41 will be A. And let's try 47. D6. Let me pull up the ASCII table. Bear with me here. I have many monitors around me. So let's see here. So we'll start back at 48. And then A is 41, as we talked about. We see it changing there. And then C will be 43. And K will be 4B. All right. And then Y, let's see, Y, 59. All right, we got Hacky World. This is good. Let me uh, close this down. So we've successfully changed the binary to Hacky World. And I said, we're gonna do one other thing. We're gonna change this speed, okay? We're gonna change that delay. So we're gonna go over here and this is the assembler that we talked about. So this is the value that's actually going into these actual registers. And if we right click on this and we go to patch instruction, we can change that to another value. Now it'll be in hex, but if I raise that value, it will raise the delay, which is gonna be very, very exciting. So let's do this and let's do something like CC. All right, now it's time to save and export our program. This is what we refer to as an ELF binary. So we're gonna go ahead and save this as microbit dash hack. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to minimize this and I'm going to bring up a terminal window and we're going to convert that hex. And now we are going to flash the micro bit. Let's see what happens. It's very exciting. Hopefully, this will work. There it is. Sorry, <laughs> it might be better if I hold it the right way up. We see hacky world and it's slower. So we've achieved everything we needed to achieve. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And uh, again, we're gonna provide the links. Never stop dreaming and let's make this happen. Again, it all starts with the micro bit. Thank you. <laughs>